Welcome, everybody. My name is Michael, and today we are discussing about Chang Peng Zhao, the mastermind behind Binance, basically the Amazon of the crypto world. Binance is in one of the top five coins, and it was in the top three. Now it's number three, four, likes to shift in between. And it is a massive, massive, multi billion dollar, probably trillion dollar corporation in the future that is global. And thanks to that, Changpeng Cao, the founder of it, the CEO, at one point in time was in the world's top 10 rich list. This is absolutely insane. And thanks to Binance, it wasn't only him that has made a lot of money. A lot of the top executives and partners also made hundreds of millions of dollars and others made billions. And when you compare the size of one of America's largest exchanges, Coinbase, where Brian Armstrong also lost a fair amount of money, uh, after the IPO, he was at a point where he purchased a mansion, a palatial mansion for, you know, 100 million plus bucks. And he went from, I think he lost 12, 13 billion, whatever it was from his valuation. Well, Chang Ping Cao lost the most amount of money in human history. It's just a value. It's just paper. And that's because ZZ's portfolio consisted 90% of, just like Jeff Bezos, 90% of Binance, his own company. He had a lot of BNB. He had a lot of shares in his company. And with crypto going down, it's basically seasonal. If things are bad, they're going to continue to get worse. If things are going amazing in crypto land, things can go absolutely sky high where you're going to become one of the world's richest people. And today we are at a point where CZ is worth around $11 billion, which is still a really good sum. Compared to $97 billion, that's a little steep of a drop. Now, when you look at percentages and you look at billionaires, a person who lost the most amount of money in the fastest time frame with the greatest percentage of their portfolio getting absolutely wrecked was Ike Batista. And I already made a video about him on Billionaire Bios, an old channel which I don't post on anymore. But that was a fun video. I can actually link that down below if you want. And this gentleman had $25 billion that he lost and he went to prison. He went to prison. His uh, multi, it wasn't just one company, he had multiple corporations that went down and oil and everything and the stock market. And there was also fraud and whatnot. But it's absolutely crazy how he lost more than 97% of his, you know, this guy was worth at one point $30 billion. At one point in time, he was trying to be the world's richest person and he was only a couple positions away. Also in the top 10 rich list at that time. And next thing you know, a year later, he's in prison. So, and he's worth nothing. And he's actually negative. That's pretty crazy. Well, he lost more than 97% of his wealth and then some, but more than 97% in a very quick uh, period, in a faster period than Chang Peng Cao. Uh, CZ lost more than $87 billion in a period of approximately 130 days. Uh, when you look at Binance compared to Coinbase, Coinbase handles two, three billion dollars worth of transactions on a daily basis. At one point in time, in September of the last year, when there was a lot of hype, Binance handled a lot more. We're talking about not just 10 billion, 50 billion, we're talking about 125 billion dollars worth of transactions in a 24 hour period. And on average, Binance handles 80 to 90 billion dollars, and it's growing. Uh, maybe now things are kind of in a decline, but the reason for crypto falling is the same reason. This has been one of the toughest months in car sales. This has been one of the toughest months in history, in recent history at least, for a lot of businesses. People don't have money. We're in a looming recession. There's war going on. Um, in certain places of the world, there's still COVID going on. And if there's not COVID, there's a lot of the after effects of COVID. Factories being shut down for so long. Well, now you start them up. You need money again. You need to buy parts. You need to do this. You need labor. There's labor shortages. Um, there's certain still little smaller events that might happen. And before you know it, whatever industry you're in, you're still in this depression. And unfortunately, there's no quick fix for this. This has consequences that are going to happen 
and keep happening for the next couple of years. And you're at a point in time where even just COVID shutting down schools, you had a lot of kids that had to get homeschooled. Well, not everybody had money for a computer. And, you know, there's going to be consequences that are going to be crazy for the next couple of years. So we're talking about something that, to be quite honest, crypto, it doesn't matter how amazing crypto is. When you're talking about the whole world basically going into a recession, all stocks, all cryptos, all form of assets, investments have gone down. Things are going crazy. So <clears throat> to still have $11 billion at this time <coughs> is absolutely insane. And when you look at Elon Musk, where at one point, this is crazy. I remember the record was $100 billion, then $200 billion. Then he passed $300 billion. Elon Musk was the world's richest person, and I think he still is, and he's fighting with Jeff Bezos. Both of them, all the tech companies, lost hundreds of billions. We're talking about trillions of dollars of capital that just evaporated. So Binance is nowhere near nowhere near bankruptcy they're doing fantastic and if you take a look at all these exchanges a lot of the guys a lot of the founders and the guys who were in the startup crew the programmers the uh, managers the people who were behind the scenes who actually made the startup into an ipo later or into the multi-billion dollar corporation that it is they became multi-millionaires or billionaires and rightfully so they deserve it and in many cases, as long as there was, you know, no fraud involved, um, I think they have created something that ultimately, I'm sure some exchanges suck and whatnot, but ultimately has helped a lot of people um, and has helped other people make money. And there's a simple rule in business. If you help other people make money, you're going to make a lot of money in return. And that's the same thing in sales. If you make a lot of money for the manager, for the owner, you're going to make a lot of money yourself. Uh, unfortunately, right now we're in a tough time. And it's pretty crazy. He beat the record. The previous record was $77 billion by Masayoshi Son, who, uh, Masayoshi Son, if you have not heard of him, you have to look him up. There's too much to talk about him, but he's this massive investor. And one of his failed investments was WeWork. And there's been a lot of interesting moves that he's made, and his career is absolutely fascinating. But he lost a lot of money, and that was a record for 20 years. Now, of course, if you take into account inflation and whatnot, I think still he's the record holder, but uh, either way you look at it, both of these guys lost billions. So Masayoshi Son had made a lot of money, and at the time, I think his SoftBank, that's the company, was worth well over $200 billion. Again, this is during the dot-com bubble, so think of this where... Again, with inflation, it's absolutely crazy. This company probably today would be worth half a trillion, if not a trillion. And there were so many different factors back then. But Masayoshi Son was investing in a lot of dot-com uh, companies, dot-com startups. And if you know the dot-com bubble, well, eventually it popped. And this guy was worth 76, um, I'm sorry, $78 billion. And overnight, boom, everything went down. Certain companies went bankrupt completely. This guy went down to $1.1 billion. So still a billionaire, <laughs> but you lost a whole lot of money. Think about how much money that is. Um, it's a lot easier to lose money when you're rich. It's harder to lose money like when you're in a position like me where a couple of years ago, I'm sure a lot of crypto investors out there, you go from having nothing to suddenly having something. You go middle class. You can afford a car. You can afford clothes. You can afford whatever you want. And I had a sum of seven, seven figures. That'd be nice. I had a small sum of six figures, low six figures, and I lost it all, and I went in debt. And if I lost six figures, but I was worth seven, of course, I wouldn't mind. Who cares? I still have money, but I went negative, and you can never go negative. But if you have $1.1 $1 hey. And Masayoshi Son recovered, you know, he's now worth 15 billion, so a couple billion more than CZ. And I'm sure CZ, like everything else, everything's going to recover. And these guys are, you know, it's very tough to do what like Ike Batista did, where you go from a billionaire to having nothing. Like that, I mean, my situation is better than that. But it, it, it absolutely hurts when you lose a lot of money. And you think about what you could have done and all these mistakes. And sometimes even the world's smartest people cannot avoid these things. So... Um, what can you do? Well, uh, the number one thing is to always have a diversified portfolio and not just stocks and crypto and real estate and whatnot, but also think about where the money's coming from. 
don't put all your eggs into the same basket. And in maybe Ch Chang Peng Tao's case, it doesn't matter because Binance is a multi-billion dollar corporation. But for the average person, if you just have a job, you have to have a plan B. You have to have a second source of income. Um, I'm sure Chang Peng Tao, with so much money, it doesn't matter at that point because he doesn't have to work two jobs. He just has to, I mean, he, he works probably many jobs within Binance, but at that point, you can have so many different investments that your buddy basically works for you while you sleep, it doesn't matter. But until you get to the point where you have hundreds of thousands of dollars where you're able to keep on building and building, number one thing for a lot of us out there, be careful with your investments right now. Don't do anything too risky. Even with stable coins, stable coins can be very risky as we have recently seen. <laughs> so number one thing, stay safe out there. Don't do anything crazy and enjoy the weather. Enjoy the weather because I know right now we're kind of in a tough time. We're in a essentially recession. A lot of people are freaking out. I mean, car sales is tough right now, but yeah, I just want to make a video about CZ. He made a record, I guess, lost the most amount of money in human history thus far. And with inflation, I mean, you know, the dollar is losing more and more value. So eventually, one of these days, being a millionaire might not mean anything. And you're going to have many of these trillionaires around. But he's going to recover. Most of these billionaires are going to recover. Some people who might not recover are people like you and me, the working class, who is just trying to get up there middle class a little bit further and as long as we stay safe let's never ever get into a position where we're losing ginormous record sums unless we're billionaires so thanks so much for watching today's video have a great rest of your day and um it's pretty pretty interesting what's happening with the markets right now but let's hope for the best and prepare for the worst just in case so see ya